A V B N, the best in sports, entertainment, professional wrestling, and more. A V B N, Bellica, Massachusetts. Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. This is Rich again from the R. V B N Studios in Bellica, Massachusetts for what Thursday September fifteenth, twenty sixteen, around eight twelve in the evening in Bellica, Massachusetts. It's the sun is down. Going to be a chilly night. Highs, lows, and about 40 degrees. But could rebound to 74, 75. Some news from the RVBN Newswire. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Columbus Blue Jackets goaltender Sergei Broskowski is named the starting goaltender for the Russian team on the World Cup of Hockey. And he's going to start in their first round-robin game. And San Diego Padres general manager A.J. Lala got suspended without pay by Major League Baseball for 30 games when he was investigated for a probe with injured pitchers for the Padres. And that's about it on the RVBN Newswire. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Be back in one minute. Coming soon to the RVBN video blogs is the top 100 greatest cute leggy blondes of all time. Look for that in October. You'll be surprised who makes this list and you wouldn't be surprised. I'm back. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about Pam Oliver, who's, who's a sideline reporter for Fox Sports for NFL coverage. And she's been doing, doing that for so many years. She's been covering sports for close to 30 years and she does a great job and she, she's still going strong. Pam was born in Dallas, Texas and her father was in the U.S. Air Force and they um, moved a lot during her childhood because he worked for the U.S. Air Force so they was, he was stationed in Texas, Michigan, Washington, California, and eventually they settled in Florida. And Pam was interested in watching sports in an early age. She watched a lot of sports on television. And she played sports. She did tennis and basketball and ran track. In high school, she was a great track star. She like won all state for track for track records, and then she went to Florida A and M University, majoring in journalism, and she did it on a scholarship. And she was an All American in track, which was pretty good. And she graduated. And then she went into reporting. So her first television job was a news reporter for a television station in Al Albany, Georgia in 1985. She like did some news stories and anchored some news. Then 
she went to several markets in the South as a news reporter in Huntsville, Alabama. Then she moved up north to Buffalo, New York. And then in the late 1980s, Pam switched to sports anchoring and reporting. She first did it in the late 1980s in Tampa, Florida. Then she moved to Houston, Texas. She covered a lot of sports in Tampa, including the Buccaneers, and in Houston, the Astros, the Rockets, and the Oilers. And she was getting a lot of good ta talent, and then the national networks looked at her. And from 1993 through 1995, um, Pam worked for ESPN as a reporter, usually doing NFL reports for NFL Countdown and all the other NFL shows. She sometimes anchored Sports Center, as it, which was pretty good. And in 1995, Pam signed with Fox Sports. And she's been with Fox Sports ever since. At first, she did feature reporting for the Fox NFL Sunday. And then in the late 1990s, she became a sideline reporter for NFL games on Fox, eventually becoming the number one sideline reporter for NFL games. For years, she teamed with um, Pat Summerall and John Madden, eventually it was Joe Buck and Troy Aikman and Chris Collinsworth, and she was very, very knowledgeable, very good. She was one of the best sideline reporters in the business. She also re reported on some Major League Baseball games during uh, playoffs, the wild card, and the League Championship Series. And in, in the mid 2000s, um, Pam was worked for TNT doing the NBA playoffs and selected regular season games, which she was pretty good at that. And she's also a correspondent for 60 Minutes Sports. She's very good at that. She's like a great investigating reporter. Last year, Pam was demoted to number two play-by-play um, -play team with Kevin Burhart and John Lynch, but she still does an excellent job doing that, and she's going to probably be doing more reporting for the NFL for many more years to come, because she's probably great and awesome, and she really knows her sports, and that's about it on Pam Oliver. That's about it on these video blogs, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus from the RVBN Studios. This is Rich signing out off for the night tomorrow. Only two video blogs coming your way. First video blog will be about top candidates for Cy Young Award in the American League and National League. And the last video blog of the day will be about NBC Golf, NBC Sports Golf, golf host. And sportscaster, Dan Hicks. Like I always say, keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Punnett guy. Molly Roseblood of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hatt, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy is awesome. Awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 in New York is the best looking TV cute leggy blonde weather lady in New York City. And Papa Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Don't forget Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. If you want to be like, you want me to say something or plug something on my video blogs, go ahead because that's a great way for you to advertise your business or something else. Good night, everybody. No promo tonight.